hi, 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 hello, hello, hi, hello. Happy Valentine's Day! I got you something. Something really, really nice. I hope you like it so much that it just completely makes your day, even though it just started. Oh, sorry, I, I think I forgot the thing I was going to give you. Silly me, one sec, be right back. <laughs> okay, hi, I'm back. Hi, hello. Okay, so you remember a few seconds ago when I said I wanted to give you something, but then I said I left the thing in the other room? Well, I have it now. And here it is. It's just for you. All for you, especially for you. I hope you like it. It's chocolate. I know you like chocolate, but then again, who doesn't like chocolate? I know I do. I love chocolate. It's one of my favorite foods. But being part dog, I can't have it very often because it's toxic. Um, not as toxic as like for actual dogs, but it still gives me an upset stomach. But that's not gonna keep me away. Anyway, um, oh, I didn't even give you a chance to say whether or not you liked it yet. I'm sorry. So, do you? That's really, really super great. I'm glad to hear it. I know you like that type of chocolate better than other kinds because I overheard it in a conversation once, I think, or maybe I dreamed it. I get those two confused sometimes, but my doctor says it's normal. I just have a really active imagination. Anyway, I'm sorry. You haven't even had breakfast yet, have you? But that's okay because I'll get out of your way so you can. And in fact, no, I'll make it for you. No, I'll make it for us. I haven't eaten yet, but I've, I've been too excited about giving you your Valentine's Day present. Is that what you would be considered as? I mean, we don't give presents for Valentine's, at least not in the same way we do for Christmas. But maybe we should make that part of the holiday. Like, like, oh, same as Halloween. Ooh, Halloween presents. That needs to be a thing. They'd all just be full of candy, of course. But imagine all the spooky wrapping paper. That would be so much fun. What? Oh, right, yeah, breakfast. Okay, I'll go make that now. See you soon. Don't move. Ruby, breakfast is ready. Come on in and eat. Um, or I could bring it to you, but with how fast I move, I don't think you'd want me to. Anyway, come on in so I can serve you. I've made so many things, so just pick from all of them and decide what you want. I made all of it myself, too. You teaching me to cook is really paying off. I was never that good at cooking until you showed up, but then again, I'm still not that good, but at least better than I was. So go ahead and dig in. Oh, yeah, and I put the food into a heart shape. That's both to say that I love you as a best friend and a roommate, but also because it's Valentine's Day, and also because I was bored and wanted to. You know, I'm just so artsy and creative. Um, anyway, what do you think of the meal? You like it? Awesome. Okay, great. I really, really am glad that it's meeting your standards. I know you had a higher standard for food than I did, since I don't really like food as much as I like things like running. And did I mention I love running, by the way? Oh, I did? Several hundred times? Okay, cool. Anyway, I've never been as big of a fan of food as I have been of running, but I've always been, you know, kind of down on myself because I can't cook. And you're helping me fix that, and I like that you're doing that. So thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you for helping me learn how to do something that I wanted to kind of learn to do for a while. Yeah, my tail is wagging hard. It's because I really like you, you know? It's the whole dog part of my brain thing. So when I see you happy, I also get happy, and my brain makes my tail wag because I'm happy, which I am a lot because I'm naturally a happy person, dog person, but also my tail wags harder when I'm really, like, super-duper happy, which I'd say I am now because you're my favorite person, and you haven't left me despite how annoying I can be sometimes, and you don't mind me running around the house, and you're really, really nice to me, and I love that about you. And are you going to finish that bacon? Yay! Yay, thank you! I promise I'll let you have something off of my plate, but the bacon was calling to me. Like, while I was sitting here talking to you, it was calling out. Like, Kali, you have to eat me. And I was like, but bacon, I can't eat you. You're for him. And the bacon was like, I don't care. You must consume me. And so that's why I ate some of your bacon. Not all of it. I wanted to leave some for you, but I had to eat just a little bit of it because I know if I didn't, I'd regret it later. Um, you know, dogs are omnivores, unlike cats, but I can never resist bacon. Or you. I can't resist you. You could literally tell me to do anything and I would do it. I'd jump off a cliff for you if it would make you happy. 
it's really easy to make me do stuff. I think it's the dog part of my brain since I'm a domesticated dog. It just really wants to please you, which I guess could be used against me. But I do want to be the best to have friends with you, and I think that it's accomplished that. I know that you've said on a few occasions now that you consider us friends. Maybe not best friends yet, but I... <gasps> Wait, really? You do consider us best friends? Oh my gosh, that's so wonderful to hear! At first, I thought it would just be me considering you a best friend and you wouldn't ever feel the same way about me because I'm a dog and you're not a dog and my dog brain immediately fell in love with um, you, you know, in a friend way the moment we met. And I figured that a human wouldn't be able to reciprocate those feelings like a dog could. But you just said that you do. You said that we're best friends, which makes it official, according to the best friend's handbook. I assume. I don't know if that actually exists. But I assume it does, and that would be rule number one. Both friends need to agree that they have become best friends and, you know, before they actually become best friends or something along those lines. I don't know. I've never read it. But I hope to someday. Maybe it'll tell me where the other ones went wrong, too. They all say the same thing. I come off too strong. I can't control how strong I am. Well, I guess I could if I stopped working out. But I don't think I'm gonna, especially running, because I love to run. But you knew that already. Ah, oh, you're so sweet, Rumi. Or I guess I can say bestie now? Yeah, 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 let's do that. Bestie, ooh, I like the sound of that. And you can call me bestie too, or collie, or clean. I don't really care one way or the other. Or the third? Hold on, wait, no, I've confused myself. Okay, no, yeah, whatever. Anyway... This was really, really awesome. Best Valentine's Day ever. I know it's only just past breakfast o'clock, but the day's been good enough already that I can all but guarantee that the rest of it will be fantastic and amazing, and I'll love it so much. And also, going forward, we're officially best friends now. Not like one-sided best friends, but like actual best friends. I'm going to tell a bunch of people I have a best friend who actually thinks of me in the same way. Oh, they're going to be so jealous, especially my dog friends with humans who they tried to be best friends with, but then they went a little too quickly. Anyway, thanks for the gift. It was really nice to get the gift of a best friend for Valentine's Day this year. And this is why I think we should have Valentine's Day presents, because everyone will get sweet moments like the one I just got from you. And I wish that on everyone. Oh, I love you, bestie. Thanks for the amazing day.